Hi guys, I'm Liam Berry. Welcome to Alcan ADV. Today I have a couple little announcements to make and uh, an otherwise pretty boring video, so stay tuned. <laughs> Have a new project. This is uh, an 1873 well, trapdoor. This one's serial number says it was made in 1882, so it's not one of the musket conversions. It was a you know purpose design built trapdoor. It's 4570. Needs some uh, major barrel work. The barrel has been uh, I won't say abused, more like tortured. Um, but other than that, it's, it's in good shape. Uh, lock works, everything works. Uh, should be a good winter project. Anyway, it's pretty much shootable right now except for the barrel. So I'm gonna look at getting either a barrel liner or possibly just buying a new barrel and, and uh, replacing the barrel on it anyway. Should hopefully get it shooting by, I don't know, sometime midwinter or maybe spring. Anyway, progress on the cabin's coming along okay. Uh, got almost all the sheeting up and uh, I'm gonna start putting in windows here. It'll be fun. So when they made the trap door, it was a 58. Um, it was a musket conversion from the old Springfield uh, muzzle loaders that the Army already had. And uh, what they did was they would just cut the back end off the barrel and put a breech in. And then the lock was the same, everything else was the same. But a 58 was a little more than they needed in a, a cartridge gun. And so they knocked it down to 50 after uh, they ran out of stock for the 58s. And that was still too much. And so eventually the third production run, uh, they made a 45, which was a 4570 government. And that's what this one is. So this is a little bit later. Um, this one has a wider breech because some of the earlier ones had narrow breeches and were a little weak because of it. Anyway, it's in relatively good shape. It's all there. And uh, I'll cook up some hand loads for it. Black powder hand loads, of course. The 4570s are kind of funny because if you go in your reloading manual, there's actually three different um, charts for them. There's the old trapdoor and, and the old, uh, there were a few other government guns that shot the 4570. And uh, all the reproductions are the same way. You can't shoot plus P loads in them. Uh, and then there's the lever actions, the Marlins, I have one of those, and then, you know, comparable. And then there's the Ruger number one, which is, like, way above that, and, uh, you know, you can just about shoot anything through it. Anyway, this is the weak kind, um, but honestly, I'm probably just going to be loading black powder rounds in it anyway. Uh, just, you know, why not? I do black powder stuff with the muzzle loaders, and so I've got all the stuff, and, why not just do it with this too? So I have to do a little work on it. The rear sight was pretty sticky, and the guy that I got it from fixed that, but uh, the sight actually is on backwards, so I have to fix that. And a few other things, I'll put a sling on it. I like the patina on the stock, I'm not going to mess with that. We'll see how it shoots. Well, that's all I've got for you today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This stuff's going to be popping up in the videos a little more frequently, uh, probably especially in the winter time because, well, the motorcycling is going to be dropping off a little bit, so uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'll see you next week, or, well, you'll see me next week, and until uh, then, you guys ride safe.